picture was shrinking. Some believe the storm didn't just level homes. It also dealt a fatal blow to the entire town. Six in the morning reporter Karina Sun is live from Pitcher to explain why. Good morning, Karina. Good morning, Rich. Well, we know that in times of disaster, there are a few select groups that run towards it while everyone else is running away. And Disaster Recovery Solutions is just one of those uh, groups here. Now, Tad Agolia, there we go. I said your name right. You are with Disaster Recovery Solutions. Let folks know what it is that you do. Well, uh, we're a disaster response group, and uh, what we do is we respond to disasters within the first couple of hours when they happen. Uh, initially, we open up roadways uh, so that humanitarian organizations can get in, uh, and we also provide all the uh, necessary equipment that is needed within the first couple of days and first couple of weeks of disasters. Now, let us know exactly what that equipment is here. I know that you have this one truck with just a few of the things that you have, but you have a lot more than what we see here. Sure. Well, uh, this vehicle here is uh, uh, satellite communications. Uh, we have satellite phones, uh, satellite laptops, uh, GMRS radios, and GPS coordinators, and some scouting off-road dirt bikes to scout out the outskirts of disaster areas. Mm -hmm. uh, over here, we also have uh, cranes and uh, Caterpillar wheel loaders that are used to open up roads. Uh, we're also using them in this area to uh, lift up the houses so that people can get in the debris to find their belongings, such as wallets, uh, pictures, and valuable documents and uh, just uh, things that are special to the people in the community. Um, we also have on hand generators uh, that are specifically used for nursing homes and hospitals. Uh, we also have water pumps uh, that are used to uh, either uh, pump out cities that have been flooded or preposition them in cities that will flood. And uh, we also uh, carry with us specialized hovercrafts that we used for water rescues when cities flood so that we can evacuate people out of their homes. So lots and lots of things, and I know you've been traveling for a year now since the tornado hit Greensburg, Kansas. Just real quickly tell us uh, what events you've been covering. Well, from Greensburg, Kansas, we went to Southern California wildfires and then the mudslides that happened there, up to Oregon and Washington mudslides and windstorms, Oklahoma ice storms, and then tornadoes in Alabama and Tennessee, and then the flooding in Arkansas, and then the recent tornadoes in Missouri and Arkansas and then on to here. All right, well, Tad, thank you so much for joining us. I know that you and your uh, group of several men have been working very hard. Uh, thank you very much for doing that. And if you live in the pitcher area and you need help with that heavy equipment, perhaps lifting a roof off of your home, there's a number that you can call. Tad has offered his uh, cell phone number, actually. That number is 865-292-3655. If you miss the number, it will be on our website. Click on newson6.com for more information.